Today we're going to solve a nice nonlinear differential equation. So in particular, we're going to look at the differential equation that has y prime squared plus x times y prime minus y equals 1, where we have initial conditions y evaluated at 0 is 0 and y prime evaluated at 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so before we get started solving this, let's just check that it makes sense. What I really mean by that is we're going to check that it makes sense at the initial conditions. So that means we need to plug x equals 0, y equals 0, and y prime equals 1 into this differential equation and make sure we get something that's true. So if we did not get something that's true, then that means this is not solvable with these initial conditions. Okay, but if we plug in y prime equals 1, we'll get 1 squared, and then we have plus 0 times 1 minus 0, that equals 1, so we're okay. So this checks out, we can at least get off the ground. Now, before we really dive into the solution, I'd like to point out that finding a solvable, nonlinear, non-separable differential equation is actually quite rare. And that's what we have here. This thing is nonlinear because we have y prime squared. This thing is not separable, but yet we can find a solution. So that means there should be some sort of trick, maybe a trick that isn't used for standard differential equations because we generally don't look at differential equations like this in a standard course. So maybe looking at it a little bit, keeping motivation on the fact that we have a y prime squared there and we'd like to reduce the order maybe, maybe we could take the derivative of this entire equation and see what we get. Okay, so let's do that. So taking the derivative of this entire equation will give us two times y prime times y double prime for this term from the chain rule. And then we'll use the product rule here to have plus xy double prime plus y prime minus y prime equals zero. So that's what we get after taking the derivative of this whole thing using you know standard rules for derivatives. Now let's do a little simplification. We can cancel this y prime with this y prime. And then we can also factor a y double prime out of this. So that'll leave us with y double prime times the quantity 2y prime plus x equals 0. But this is equal 0 not somewhere, but equal 0 everywhere. So in other words, for all values of x. But let's notice that by our initial condition, this is equal to 2 at x equals 0. And that, again, is from our initial condition. So that means if we've got a product of these two things, which is always equal to 0, we found a place where this is non-zero. That means this guy right here must always be equal to zero. In other words, y double prime is identically zero. So let's write that here. We have y double prime is identically equal to zero, but that means that y is a linear function, which we can see by taking the antiderivative two times. So that'll give us y equals ax plus b. Okay, so now going over here, Keeping in mind that we know y equals ax plus b, let's start using our initial conditions. So y of 0 will be equal to b, and y prime of 0 will be equal to a. But we're given that y of 0 is 0 and y prime of 0 is 1. So we know b is 0 and a is 1, giving us the solution y equals x. And then maybe we should check that that makes sense. Well, let's plug it back into our differential equation. So let's just recall if y equals x, y prime equals 1, plugged into this differential equation, we'll have 1 squared plus x minus x equals 1. But that checks out. So y equals x, in fact, does satisfy this differential equation. And that's a good place to stop.